One ESPN analyst's unruly behavior at a journalism conference and followed him home and left him unemployed. Former NFL defensive end Hugh Douglas was fired by ESPN Tuesday for his altercation with Numbers Never Lie co-host Michael Smith in Orlando, Florida, just over a week ago. The big lead who broke the story reports Douglas was drunk at an ESPN-sponsored party at the National Association of Black Journalists Conference. Douglas reportedly threatened violence against Michael Smith because Smith wouldn't allow him on stage. Then, when Smith tried to walk away, Douglas grabbed his arm and called him an Uncle Tom before onlookers came in and broke it up. New York Daily News reports seeds of the ruckus may have been planted a day earlier when Smith and Jamel Hill, another ESPN personality, spoke at an NABJ event. Douglas, who appeared to be drunk, wanted to take over the microphone, but Hill wouldn't let him. After conducting its own investigation, ESPN told Sports Illustrated on Tuesday, quote, he no longer works for us effective today. Douglas tweeted Tuesday for the first time since the conference, shortly after the news of his firing broke. I am very disappointed to be leaving ESPN and will have more to say about the situation and my future at the appropriate time. Deadspin, who consistently reports on ESPN's mishaps, shed some light on what could be the underlying reason for the altercation. Douglas has felt uncomfortable ever since Jamel Hill's addition to the show a few months back. Smith and Hill, after all, are old friends, and the show was now two journalists plus an ex-jock. A source speculates that Douglas, outnumbered by non-jocks, felt left out. In the not-so-distant past, ESPN got rid of a different analyst for saying Robert Griffin III wasn't black enough, possibly showing the company's low-tolerance policy for misbehavior and controversial remarks. Is he a brother or is he a cornball brother? We all know he has a white fiancé and there was all this talk about he's a Republican. Neither Michael Smith nor Jamel Hill have commented on the altercation. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.